Chairman of AVIBC Board, Professor Lee, the Chairman of uh, ICS, uh, honored guests and other members of the AVIBC Board, and my good friends and colleagues, uh, all of the staff of AVIBC. I stand before you in a humble condition because I believe that 40 years anniversary is an important one, but I am humble because I recognize that the job is only very slightly done and we have a long way to go yet. I'm going to omit the first, the first whole portion of my talk because I think that all of us here uh, understand the issues of malnutrition, poverty, uh, obesity, type 2 by diabetes, etc. I'm going to just admit the first paragraph and I'm going to launch straight into my text. So AVIBC has stridently argued over the last decade that the issue of food and nutritional security is a more complex issue than merely the provision of extra carbohydrates for the diet. And therefore agricultural research and development needs to pay more attention to that wider range of agricultural products capable of helping to provide a well-balanced diet. And these include fruit and vegetables, but also pulses, coarse grains, <coughs> tree crops, livestock products, fish, poultry, etc. And the smallholder homestead garden production model of Helen Keller International uh, exemplifies this with their emphasis on the combined home-based provision of small stock, <coughs> eggs, fish, etc., in combination with fruit and vegetables. And the Vice President of HKI, Victoria Quinn, is here today. And she's specifically been invited for the excellent track record of her organization in helping the development of many poor families worldwide. And making such products available to malnourished households seems to be a major step forward in development and can result in substantive economic health and social gains. Likewise, we're going to hear from Tony Simon the DG of ICRA, and he will stress the importance of a wider range of biodiversity and productive landscapes, other than just those producing maize, wheat, and rice, can bring to the better achievement of sustainable agricultural systems in developing countries. That's children, nursing mothers, the elderly, teenage girls, the sick, handicapped, and other specially vulnerable groups are often the most prone to malnutrition in society, then this colloquium's attendees, and ABRDC in particular, have the duty to ask the question of how our research and development program can be specifically tailored to seek quick and sufficient redress of these imposed dietary constraints. Jackie Ashby um, is here for this meeting, representing the CGIR's gender program, She's the senior uh, player in this particular field. Uh, and she's here to make sure that none of us leave Shanghua this week without having given serious thought to the issue that development is appropriate for all people and not just for rich farmers with large land areas of Syria. And have to reflect all of these issues in ABIDC's future research and development program at the same time and manage the uncertainties of climate change rapidly mutating pathogens and viruses, the emergence of new insect challenges, and how to cope with these without imposing negative environment, environmental consequences, becomes Jackie Hughes and the senior management of ABIBC's specific responsibility. Additionally, how to take into account rapid urbanization, ensuring good diets for children and teenagers in the face of a bombardment of advertisements which contribute to poor dietary choices amongst the young. Also, how best to achieve help for governments to set sensible policy to encourage an effective and profitable private sector vegetable seed industry, how to create a policy-friendly environment to encourage the ministries of agriculture, health, and education to work in a coordinated way to overcome the problems of malnutrition and dietary ignorance. Several people who attended the 20th anniversary celebrations are here today. And I would specifically point out Peter Hansen and Jo Fen Wang. Uh, and 
and two of our present uh, guests, David Midmore and Carmen Tennyson, I think also attended the 20th anniversary. And our guests, I, and in the, for these guests, I alluded to the fact yesterday that I was confident that AVRDC would still be present and playing an important role on the world stage a good way into the future. It is then perhaps no surprise to our long-standing alumni that we recognize some of their, our old enemies are still battling vigorously against us. Late flight, bacterial wilt, leaf curl virus, white fly, diamondback moth, maruca, helicoverpa, or all the other nasty family of fruit and shoot borers that we deal with. Well, we need to recognize that these biotic pressures are now coupled with additional abiotic constraints as a result of climate change always will have to continue to be addressed. If we drop our guard even for one season, it may be difficult to keep pace with our rapid rates of expected mutation. So I therefore ask you to give your intellectual all to this particular colloquium. It's designed to give us a fresh look forward, but at the same time to remember that we all wish now and in the future for prosperity for the poor and health for all.